Good day, everyone. It is currently 2.39 p.m. on the 17th of May, 2021. Oh, I have a lot to talk about. Um, I'm just going to move this down here. Uh, so, we're going to start off with... Uh, I'm really, really sorry that I haven't been posting in the past week. I guess I just got a lot off schedule because I'm really not sure why. Um, but we have a lot of talk to talk about because a lot has happened while I um taking some time off. And uh, before we go further, I just want to say, um, so please subscribe because. And comment, I subscribed, if you subscribed, and then I will try to like your comment and comment back as fast as I can. Okay? Um, so, without further ado, I think let's get into the video. So, starting off, let's just go full, full blood. I'm doing... Uh, earthquake seven days all magnitude because there's a lot I missed. So first off, um, first notice a few minutes ago, or was it a few minutes ago? Yeah, a few minutes ago, uh, we had a five point five. Now downgraded to a five point. Four, 292 kilometers west-southwest of Attic, Alaska, and, um, uh, we've seen a lot of activity in this region recently. I'm not really sure why, but it's, uh, something's going on there. And then, over here in Japan, we have seen an increase in activity. Uh, let's see, Sendai, um, 6.0, 73 kilometers east-northeast of Nami, Japan. Uh, that's, uh, depth that, it's pretty deep, considering, um, the, how deep a kilometer is, um, so that's pretty deep. Let's check, 35, okay, whoa, this is very deep, a 4.1, 215 kilometers south of, uh, kilometers south of Shimoda, Japan, this occurred at 8.49, uh, a.m. this morning, that is kind of interesting. Let's see, um, over down here, yeah, I want to check on this area, see the depth of these quakes, so, this, see how deep this is, 10 kilometers, okay, pretty deep. Uh, geez, allergies have been horrible for me. Okay, 10 kilometers. 10 kilometers. Wow, these are not too deep, but they're all at the same depth of 10 kilometers. Kind of interesting. I'm not too worried about this area, though. However, I am worried about this uh, Japan area. Um, because we have seen a uptick in activity recently um now manila philippines okay dude those are pretty deep um that's a very interesting oh yeah i'll have to keep an eye on that area wouldn't be surprised if we have like a 5.0 there in a few days. Um, we have what is this? 
Wow, 5.1, 258 kilometers. That is deep. Jeez. Oh my goodness. Whoa, okay. That. Hmm. That. Huh. Interesting. I have no words. Uh. We have. Okay. In this Chile area. Pretty deep. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some big, like, a lot of activity, such as, a, um, maybe, um, possibly 7.0, maybe 6.0, or greater, not sure, um, we have seen massive uptick in activity on the entire Pacific Plate. To be honest, like, the entire plate has caused a lot of areas to, um, a lot of more earthquake activity, such as down here in California. Also, I just realized, um, I just realized that you can put, um, different faults, so now I can see, like, there's these faults and everything. Uh, just something I noticed, but, uh, down here in California, um, we have all these quakes, uh, there's no really big ones, although, near Lake Tahoe, we have seen a lot of, a bit, great uptick in activity, um, I, re I remember uh, a few days ago, we had a 4.7, there, um, okay, 3.1, also, I just want to note that, well, I have been following the USGS, I just haven't been on, um, uploading YouTube videos in the past few days, I have been following what's going on, uh, right here, let me see, I need to check something, Need to check where it lies. What the heck? No. Here we go. Okay. So, right here. Does it lay? Oh, yeah, it lays kind of near Memphis. So, with that, with knowing that. Ah, yes, there's some uh, activity on the um, New Madrid Fault, um, obviously, not that deep, but, still, we haven't seen a lot of activity there for a while, so that's very interesting. Um, now, Oklahoma Quakes, um, over here, a lot of these are just Probably oil fault quakes stuff. Yeah. What? An earthquake down here. That's near. Where is that? Near Beeville, south of San Antonio. Not deep activity, but still kind of weird. Uh, I am curious if we have any faults here. If you know if there's any faults there, please let me know, because it's very interesting. I, wait, 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 wait. I noticed oh, these tiny faults. Oh. Yeah, there's some faults here, but the thing is, is these are like miles away from these faults. I, I'm not sure how this could, uh, how these faults could impact such a large amount of earthquakes and great activity. That's a very interesting. 
we have a couple near in Utah. 3.2. Um, here we go. <laughs> now up here. So, starting off uh, out here. This was, I found this very interesting. 3.7 off the coast of Oregon. But the thing is, is it wasn't on the, um, it wasn't on the, what is it called? Jeez, it did not come to my head. Uh, yeah, it was not on the Blanco Fracture Zone. In fact, it was miles to the southwest, which is very weird. Just kind of weird. I mean, it's not like it's telling us that something big is going to happen here, even though it probably is. But, um, the, this is just very interesting that... Hmm. 3.7 off the coast of Oregon. Just a little weird. Um, 3.3 off the coast of Oregon. Uh, that was on the 12th of May. Um, at 9 o'clock. Interesting, interesting. Uh, not that deep. I mean, 10 kilometers, but still not that deep. Now, yesterday, we had a... 4.1, 10 kilometers, um, uh, south, uh, 10 kilometers in depth, and the, the thing is, is with these quakes, you see, you can see a recurring pattern, these quakes move, boom, boom, so this one happened on the 12th, now, let's see. This one happened on the 14th. And then this one happened on the 16th. And so, you're seeing a recurring pattern of this one goes 3.3, and then a 2.0 goes about, and they're both kind of north, which is very weird. So, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some. Um, if we see some activity, like, right here, um, in the next few days, um, along this area, whether it's, like, a 2.0, maybe 4.0, 4.0s aren't that likely along the Cascadia, but they are on, along here, but this is telling us that more pressure is being built here, um, a four point, most people say, um, some people who just get into the stuff say, oh, well, it might be pressure being released, but if you know how these plate tectonics move, um, since these earthquakes are indicating that a crack right on these faults, since, um, on this fault right here, it means that it moved, there was movement there. And we know the directions that they go in, and these ones go uh, along here, uh, into under the North American plate. And so when we see earthquakes, it just tells along these, um, like the Gorda and the Blanco fracture zone, um, it tells you that more pressure is being built, more and more and more, um, which isn't a good sign. Uh, the these so this 2.0 that was considerably deep surprisingly enough um 26.2 um two kilometers yeah that's considerably deep Let's see up here i wonder if we have any faults here uh not that I see, but we saw a little swarming up here, which is kind of interesting. California is a mess, by the way. I can't keep track of that stuff. Um, and then we also had 2.8 on the 13th. That might also be why we had we saw this 
Um, yeah, that might be why we saw uh, this and this, maybe. Um, but it just tells us that stuff is happening that we can't see on these two plates. Means more pressure is building here, and more pressure means the greater the risk of an earthquake. So, this, uh, very interesting. Um, so, hmm. anyways, uh, these still seeing some swarming 1.5. Honestly, all the swarming that we're seeing is probably because of the 6.0 we had a few, like in 2020, I think. Um, we had a 6.0 on this fault, which, um, in fact, I felt all the way over uh, here, which was very interesting. Um, uh, so, there. I think this is the result of that just a little swarming um, aftershocks movement, but keeping a very close eye on this area, it's eerie. Also, now we're going to take a look at the tremor map, because that brought me to this. So, the tremor map, here we have all this data. So, as you can see, the tremors completely stop. Completely. Zero tremors that they caught. Huh? I know. And then over here, nine to ten, like this. You can see it was a slowdown in tremors because there's barely any tremors here. And it slowed down to a complete. Stop. A complete stop. Latest tremor two days ago. So it just means that something big is about to happen on this area, and the earth is telling us that. As a matter of fact, um, it's a very, very interesting to see all of this recent activity along the Blanco, the Gorda, and the um, entire uh, Cascadia subduction zone and Juan de Fuca Ridge. It's all just so interesting that we're seeing earthquakes now, and in the past month we've seen over, like, I can't even count, like, 16,000 earthquakes, and so it's a very, very, um, shocking that we're seeing this now, uh, also, as, um, uh, to show you, um, 1700 Cascadia Earthquake, <laughs> The 1700 Cascadia earthquake occurred along the Cascadia subduction zone on January 26, 1700, with an estimated moment magnitude of 8.7 to uh, 9.2. And obviously, I've done extensive research on this, um, but the, the estimated earth magnitude was um, considered to be a 9.0. Uh, however, it could have been like a 9.2. It wasn't, since it wasn't tracked, they just had stories of it. They couldn't really tell. But the mega thrust earthquake involved the Juan de Fuca plate from mid Vancouver Island along the Pacific Northwest coast as far as Northern California. The length of the fault rupture was about 10,000, I mean, 1,000 kilometers or 620 miles, with an average slip of 20 meters, 66 feet. The earthquake caused a tsunami which struck the west coast of North, North America and the coast of Japan.
future threats. A, geolog a geological record uh, reveals that great earthquakes, those with a mag uh, moment magnitude of 8 or higher, occur in the Cascadia subduction zone every 500 years on average. Uh, the uh, often accompanied by tsunamis. There's evidence that at least three events of intervals from about 300 to 900 years with an average of 570 to 590 years. Previous earthquakes are estimated to have been in uh, th ugh, th 1380, 1810 AD, 408, uh, 80, 100, um, 170 BC, 600 BC. Now, uh, considering that, all considering that, um, well, right here we have been, uh, keep in mind that I've done extensive research on this. In fact, you can do it yourself. And f you can't just trust one source. This, um, they happen every five, they say that they happen every 500 years. Um, but if you go into deeper research, you'll see that this is false because it says that, uh, it is actually 250 years. And when was the last quake? 1700, which means we're 70 years overdue. Therefore, <laughs> we, um, have, uh, see this, uh, you can see this. Uh, 390, and we noticed that the occurring quake, that was 390, this one could possibly, we have seen our last quake was 390, so, and we're seeing with all this evidence that we have right now, it could be happening 321 is the new date. And then we'd see a more like a uh, period that it happens every 300 years instead of 500 um uh also this is definitely more wrong because it says that there's only two quakes that were 500 and the rest of them were 400 400 300 and now quite possibly 321. Uh, so, it's very um, interesting. And then Casca uh, Cascadia Shaking Hazard Map. Uh, here we go. Yeah, this is the one. So, show you. This is the Shaking Map. Uh, this is like... <sighs> This area is considered to be 9.0. Um, like 9.0, you'll literally feel a 9.0. Uh, so right here, um, along this area, you'd feel like mild shaking, but going down all the way to here. But you can't trust all of this because um even coming from USGS because as even though that it is a uh reliable source however it does not always mean that it's right because we have um we have previous knowledge um on other quakes the Tohoku quake was felt all the way in China um and so this area, China is definitely would be way farther away. So this could be felt as far away as um as possible as Colorado, Salt Lake City, um, California, and definitely um and other places. Uh, but 
I think I'm going to leave it on that note. Uh, I hope you have a great day, everyone, and bye. Ah, oh, hold on. Ah, uh, sorry. Here we go.